on our tribal meters, we measure the tribological properties of our materials. So they are designed to measure very low torques, very precise angle, to measure precisely the performance of different materials, of different compounds, how they perform in terms of their uh, sliding properties, coefficient of friction, and their wear uh, properties in terms of wear resistance, wear rate. We use, for example, pin-on-disc tests. In this method, the rotating tape samples are pressed against a steel disc to measure friction and wear. Here I can see um, whether the load is distributed evenly, evenly uh, on all the three contacts. If this would not be the case, you would see, for example, that one point is much smaller compared to the others. You can see uh, whether there are much wear debris or surrounding the, the, the contact area. And here you can see the counterpart and there is a nice even transfer film. There is no blue color indicating higher temperatures, for example. You can see that there are no really um, abrasive particles inside, otherwise there would be scratches on the surface. And here you see the the whole test and you can compare easily two different tests where you see for example uh, one material which uh, delivers very constant coefficient of friction and very constant wear rate whereas the other material shows after a running in very um, fluctuating coefficient of friction which says me okay there are um, hard abrasive fillers inside uh, which deliver much higher coefficient of friction. Another test configuration is the ball on three plates test. This method is similar to the pin on disc test but it uses a ball counterpart which rotates in the center of the three samples. In this test we can uh, apply complete laminates, flat laminates which are our typical geometry uh, and the counterpart is a ball. Uh, it allows us in this configuration to apply much higher loads compared to the other configuration. 